What's going on everybody? So I made a video ways back that was one of my most popular videos and that was about installing an air assist kit on a Chinese laser. Um, but one video that I never made was why? Why would you want it? So we're doing that right now. Okay, so I've got the question before and I've answered it many times. Why would you even want an air assist on your laser? And we're not talking about just a, a regular pump. We're talking about a compressor that's really pumping some high flow air into your laser. And really the reason is similar to when you stoke a fire. So when you've got plenty of air pushing into a fire, it really starts to blaze. It really starts to cook and it makes for a laser that cut much more efficient and much cleaner. So what I've done here is I've done two cards and I want to ignore the speeds and ignore the power because I've been working on creating some cut cards for the XRF. And so I ran these two and this was what it looked like before. So you can see kind of like the, the ghosting or the halo around each of those cut holes. And then this is what it looked like after adding an air assist. So you can see how clean all of those cut holes are. So you can see a little bit here where it's kind of got that ghosting, but even on these ones where they didn't cut through, it's a lot dirtier. So this is after air assist, much cleaner. And what does that mean to you? So that means that you're going to spend less time sanding, cleaning, doing all that stuff that's extra after your project comes out of the laser. So added airflow makes things cleaner, it makes your cuts more efficient, and you will see some increase in your speeds because you're able to have such a you know, more efficient cut, more efficient power that's going through the materials. Especially when you're looking at thicker woods, like this is eighth inch stuff, your thicker woods, that added power is really gonna keep things clean and make sure that your cuts are nice and neat. One of the added things too is, granted, each of the different materials has a different composition and may char on the edges more or less, but with Air Assist, I have seen that the cuts come out much cleaner on the edges as well. So we're talking about less char, and again, less cleanup, less work for you to do after everything is done. Granted, each one of the air assists, what you get could be different and you may need to increase to certain different PSIs, uh, but that's up for you to decide and test. Me personally, on my DIY kit, I'm running about 30 PSI through the regulator into the machine uh, with this special kit that I got from Liberty or Liberty Controls uh, that I put on here, I bump the PSI a little bit more because of the airflow that's going through the solenoids that they use in their kit. But just a little bit more PSI and I'm getting the same results that I do on my other machines. And for me, I would also add that adding an air assist kit that has a high and a low, there's some benefit to that. Uh, back in the day when I did my first one, I would just change the airflow. I'd go over and manually adjust it. But really, the reason that you'd want to do that is personally, I run low airflow when I'm doing my engravings because it creates less soot deposit back on the board and then high flow when I am doing cuts because it continually makes that cut more efficient, more or less stoking the fire. Um, so that's why you would potentially want to have the ability to adjust that airflow unlike your stock air pumps that are going to just continually push the same amount of air the entire process. So if you're really wanting to increase your airflow, increase the uh, amount of time that you save in a project, then I do really do recommend getting an air assist kit and using a compressor or at the very, very minimum, getting a larger air pump to add to your machine. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'll put a lot of links and stuff in the description so that way you have a better idea of what I'm talking about when I say bigger air pumps, adding compressors, adding kits, stuff like that. So <clears throat> this one is for you to ponder on, think about, check out how your machine is performing and decide whether it's going to be something that's useful for you. Granted, you will see that you can do this on DSP type controllers for lasers, 
Uh, I'm not so sure about all the ones that are being run by G code programs, similar to like the X tools. Um, but this one, the one laser, I installed a Liberty Controls kit, and those were the results that I got. So think about it, but I really hope that this video was helpful to you. And if you liked it, please like the video, subscribe, hit the bell, all the things so that way we can see you on the next one.